Hello fellow cyborgs, today I want to talk to you about my Hurdy Gurdy collection. So I think I mentioned in one of my Building the Hermit Cave videos that I have a small collection of Hurdy Gurdies, and in case you don't know what that is, it's the mechanism that you'll find in music boxes and like wind-up music boxes or musical snow globes that are just themselves and they're hand cranked rather than like turned and with, you know, where you just crank it up and then it goes on its own. So that's what a hurdy-gurdy is. And it's one of the things that I've just kind of collected over the years. Don't ask me why. I think it has something to do with the vintage feel of it, with the tactile and also, you know, musical nature of it. It's interactive. You can like hand it to a kid and as long as it's not a sound that, you know, a song that you don't want to hate in, in 45 seconds, then they can just have a go at it for minutes and play around with the tempo and stuff. So I thought I'd just show you and play you the different hurdy-gurdies I have, and I think I'm also going to turn it into a challenge for you so you can see what you think it is. I won't tell you what I'm playing before I start playing it, and then I'll let you know if you guessed right or not. So at the moment, most of my hurdy-gurdies are all hanging out in this Peter Pan Big Ben tin, which I got in London. It held uh, English toffee about 10 years ago when I was, I was in London. However, I've pulled one out as you've already seen, and I also have a big one that I think was the first hurdy-gurdy that I was given, and I think my mom found it at a at a like toy store and it's for little kids and it's even got this like huge handle so you can just like go crazy. But I will play it through a couple times at slightly different tempos, hopefully, <laughs> that's the plan, and then see if you can guess and I will see if I can tell you what it is. Have you guessed what it is? So this one I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's actually supposed to be the Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker Ballet, though I think when I was a kid I always just called it like autumn leaves because there was something about it that reminded me of autumn, but that's Hurdy Gurdy number one. All right, here's the second one. Pretty sure you don't need me to play that one twice. <laughs> In case you haven't guessed, that's It's a Small World from Disneyland, the theme song to the ride. And that I think, I'm, I'm sorry, I hope that doesn't get stuck in your head all day and that you just, you know, curse my existence. So this one's just exposed metal. So where you, depending upon what you set it on, depends on how loud it is. So I'm gonna set it on this copy of Alette and hope that you can hear it. Have you guessed? That one is Chim Chim Cheree from the film Mary Poppins, also a Disney film. And here's another one that's gonna need some help from Villette. Have you guessed that one? It's the theme of the Pink Panther, one of my favorites. This is another quiet one, so I hope you can hear it.
So that one's kind of hard to tell, and I never can figure out quite where it begins. Oh, was I showing it to you the entire time? That was Michelle by the Beatles. And here's the last one. That one was Singing in the Rain from the classic movie film. Movie film? Mm-hmm. That's good, Amanda. So there you have it. That is my hurdy-gurdy collection. I also have some musical snow globes, but we'll save that for another video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you, like me, appreciate these old-timey sorts of musical instruments, or if you have any hurdy-gurdies yourself. Also, let me know how many you guessed right out of the four, five, six hurdy-gurdies that I played for you today. Thank, thank, thank you for watching, and until next time, continue continue to be lovely. You're a hurdy-gurdy. Just a quick thank you to all my patrons who continue to support my channel through Patreon. I really appreciate it and hope you're having a musically beautiful day.